Well, hello there. My name is DJ Ravan, and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Bye bye. Hello there, my name is DJ Ravan and welcome back to yet another tutorial here on my channel. In this one I will be showing you 5 useful bugs inside Havel. But before we start, uh, I will do a little bit of clickbait, so please leave a like and consider subscribing if you liked uh, this video. I make videos like this almost every day on my channel, so uh, yeah, leave a like, consider subscribing and let's get to it. Now, the first bug is a really useful one. This is for lines, queues in event room. And uh, as many of you know, <coughs> when Habos are hosting Falling Furniture, Fritz Games, Hot and Out, stuff like that, they are making these custom lines where they stack up furniture in the room, so you can't walk behind it. So uh, let's see. Uh, I can walk here, but I can't walk here. No matter how many times I click, I will not go there, because up in the room there are stacked these tiles. So we have the line on this side. And we, you need to imagine that, well, I'm standing in this line over here and I want to get on the other side uh, over to here. And as you see, my habo is forced to walk around. But if the room owner uh, forgot to disable animals in the room, as you maybe know, you can place down pits in other people's room. If they forgot to disable this, you can use a horse to cheat yourself out of the line and inside the room. All you want to do is to place the horse, the pit, right in front of you where you uh, can see this one is up in there. So when I place the pit right here, you can see it gets up there. I click the uh, press right on it, and now I'm upside in the air on the queue, as you want, on the queue border. And uh, yeah, the queue is right here, the event is inside here, and I just click, and I will get inside the event room. So simple and quick way to avoid lines inside Hebel. Let's get on to the next one. Now, for the next one, I need a wider window. So now you can see all the buttons inside Hebo. You can see the navigation line down here. You can see the fringe line down here. And uh, all the icons up here in the right corner. And uh, for this one, I want to show you how to open the stories and quest achievements. Uh, sorry, the stories and quest uh, icons down here in this line. This is two old features uh, and this is two bugs in the same uh, little thing. So this will be three bugs in the end. But um, this is some old features from Habbo that got removed. And what you want to do for open the quest part is to open a room, uh, the room navigator, sorry, like this. And then uh, open some, um, sorry, and then uh, close this line down here. You can, uh, what you call it, minimize the line and make it better and minimize it again, make it better. And we want to minimize the line. And then we want to go to a room that you don't own. So you need to go to someone else's room. And uh, I will take, um, let's see, let's see what we can find. Uh, my room visit history. So I will go to this room. And as you see, down in the line, this one popped up. This little icon. And when I click on that, this one comes up and we have the quest achievements. That is pretty simple. That is pretty easy. Easy and uh, yeah, with these you can uh, complete some uh, beginner's guide achievements inside Habbo and get some points and stuff like that. Let's get on to the next one. For the next one, we want to do something like the same. Um, we want to have another icon down here in the line. So what we want to do is to open the navigator and create a room. And it doesn't matter what kind of room it is, what it room can or cannot, and what it room is called. All you need to do is create this room. So we do that, create the room, and go to the room. Inside this room, we want to uh, minimize the icon down here, icons, sorry. We want to minimize those so we have the small, uh, we only got five icons, the small line. After that, we want to open the, room, open the room settings, like this, and then we want to delete the room. And as you see, down here, we now have a new icon. It's called Stories. When I hover over it, there's a little uh, bird icon and it's called Beta on it. And when I click that, sadly, nothing happens. I will get sent to the front page of Habbo and oh, blah, blah, the page not found, stuff like that. But this is an old story, this is an old feature inside Habbo and uh, yeah, it's still there, you just need to do some fiddling around to find it. Now, let's get on with the fourth one. This one is kind of special and uh, I didn't know this one, uh, I found a video on YouTube how to do it and uh, it was kind of incidentally I found it, so yeah. This is how to disable bonsai teleports. And as you can see, when I walk onto this, I will get teleported around. But there is a way to disable this uh, for you only uh, in the room and other people can see it too. What you want to do is to go a little bit away from these and then you want to put down a pit. And that pit is of course a horse. 
um, and then you want to be quick to ride that horse and dismount it right before you sit on it. And uh, you need to be standing like that. As you saw, I was standing inside the horse. I did it the first time. <laughs> that I, they, Trust me, it's kind of hard to, hard to do it the first time. So yeah, right now, as you saw, I was standing inside the horse. And what I did was riding the horse and on my way over to the horse right before I sat on it, I, uh, I clicked dismount the horse and uh, yeah, as you saw, I was standing inside it. And as you see, <laughs> well, I was not planned on showing this, but this is something you can do with it also. You can make infinite loops. So yeah, as you can see right now, I will just loop around forever with this horse in this bonsai uh, teleports. And uh, yeah, there is really no way to get out of it again. Uh, if I click like this, I will, yeah, I will get out and uh, I will get teleported back in again. And uh, yeah, this was not what I was planned on showing you. Give me a second. Okay, let's try this again. Um, as you saw before, I got in an infinite loop after I did what I did and uh, I had to pick up all the phony, pick up the horse and reload the hotel to get out of that loop. Um, I'm pretty sure I could just uh, reload the room, but I know this bug will not work if I not reload the hotel again and yeah. So yeah, uh, avoid the horse on the, on the bonsai field uh, or else it will loop <laughs> forever. But what you want to do is this, you want to place down a horse and you want to ride that horse and dismount it right before you sit on it, like that. So you are standing inside the horse. You can see my Habo avatar is standing inside the horse. And this time I will pick up the horse because you can do that. From now on, all the bonsai tiles in this room, all bonsai teleports in this room will be disabled. I can walk on them without getting teleported. Um, and you can pick up the horse, you can uh, pick up all the tiles, let's try that, and place them down again. It's just normal bonsai tiles, nothing special over those, and it will work. So you can use this uh, to uh, like disable those in event rooms and uh, maybe troll the owner, I don't know. But uh, I find it useful and I find it funny that you can do this. So yeah, let's get on to the last and final one. Now, for this last one, you're gonna need one of the three gym machines. We have the trampoline, we have the treadmill, and I get, I think the last one is the foot stepper or something like that. And this one is not a useful one, this one is just a funny one, it's a visual bug and it will work for everyone in the room. Uh, so everyone can see this bug. Um, and what you want to do is to uh, go on top of a, of a trampoline like this and then you want to place a stack tile like that and walk down from it. And as you see, I keep jumping. And it will work with trade mill, it will work with the, uh, what do you call it, the running band I think it's called. Um, and uh, yeah, all you need to do is walk on top of it and you need to place this stack tile and walk away from it again. And you can pick up the stack tile again and you will still be jumping. I don't know for sure if this will give you achievements, but it's funny to look at. You're jumping in the room <laughs> on the ground. Um, let's try to pick up the trampoline, see what happens. Well, I keep jumping. So yeah, you can do some really fun glitching around with this and uh, do some... Um, People will look at this and think, what is that? How did you do that? So yeah, <laughs> I hope you like my bug video. If you find some of these bugs useful, please let me know down in the comment section. I love to hear some feedback also on my videos. And uh, consider leaving a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.